Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Wow. Looks like there is a lot of stress, anxiety here. Okay. Okay. I just said wow and then I said there's a lot of stress, anxiety. It's so stupid. Okay. So that was the bottom of the deck, nine of swords here. So I feel there is some kind of tension, some kind of stress, worry, anxiety that's going to be revealed. That's sorry. What the fuck am I doing? That's going to be relieved. Okay. You're going to get out of your head. Okay. Whatever stress, tension, anxiety was occupying your head. If some person was occupying that space in your head, which was giving you sleepless nights, etc. That's all coming out. Okay. Everything's going to be revealed with the, with the sun card and the six of pentacles here. Someone is going to come towards you. Okay. There's going to be a lot of illumination, a lot of clarity. Okay. Probably even communication. And this person out here, whoever has had this illumination, this person has had a realization of some sort. Okay. Finally, they're being able to see things in a positive light. Okay. And someone's being very optimistic about having a very balanced relationship with you. I feel there's someone here who's wanting to have this equal give and take with you. Okay. Clearly someone where there was a situation where things were imbalanced. This person wants to give you what you deserve, the love, the attention, whatever it is. Okay. But this person was definitely uh, either giving to other people or they were giving to another situation because of which they were not being able to make you a priority. But it's all coming out to light and this is a lot of growth expansion this is a yes to anything that you're asking a good thing but yeah something's gonna make you very happy gaps nice all right let's see what's going on with you how do you see yourself in this connection gaps how do you see yourself in this connection okay um how does this person see themselves in this connection that capricorn is dealing with how does this person see themselves in this connection that capricorn is dealing with okay all right someone out here was definitely non-committal is what I'm getting. Someone out here was trying to run away from commitment, okay? Someone out here was trying to uh, ignore commitment as much as they could, okay? I'm getting one person here who was uh, trying to ignore something stable, something secure. I see one person out here who's wanting to take a final risk, someone who's, you know, taking a step ahead to this new journey towards you, having faith in mind, okay? This person could be thinking as if you are some risky business or this was someone who uh, had trust issues, okay? Someone, you they didn't trust you, okay? And, um, or you didn't trust them, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But I'm reading this as the way I'm gonna read it. Take, pick the side, okay? But I'm gonna tell you a story. Hopefully it will resonate, okay? So I feel there was someone here who was lacking a lot of optimism and faith in this connection here, okay? And things were imbalanced. Now this person out here who was non-committal is finally wanting to take a leap of faith and come towards you and wanting to give you what you wanted all this while. You on the other hand here, I feel you're being very closed off right now. You're in a state of shutdown. You're not wanting to open up. But I feel you are slowly trying to release yourself from this. Okay. And I think you were holding on to this person very tight because you were living in fear all this while. You were probably thinking that this person, what if this person goes away, what's going to happen if they don't come back, right? I feel you were holding on to this person very, very tight. And now... You're finally getting into a positive mindset. I feel there's a major shift in your connection. I'm getting a major shift in your connection. More than your connection, I feel there's a major shift in your energetic growth. Okay. Luck is on your side, but I feel more than wanting to move towards this person. I feel you're wanting to release this person and you're ready to move forward. Not towards this person, but you're ready to move forward towards something else. Okay. Because I feel something was fated and destined. You've learned your lessons and now you're releasing this person. You're detaching from this person. The moment you detach is when this person comes in towards you wanting to give you something stable long term. Okay. I feel um, someone's emotions are getting balanced now. You could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very unavailable, emotionally shut down, someone very manipulative. Okay. But this person now has their head and heart in place and they're learning to trust the situation. Trust the situation. Okay. How do you view this person? How do you view this person, Capricorn? How do you view this person? How does this person view Capricorn? (laughs) 
you're turning your back you're turning your back to this situation okay or probably you're waiting for this person to communicate towards you but you view this person as someone who's turned their back towards you and you view them as someone who's cut you off you're viewing this person as being very cold very harsh very icy very detached towards you either this is someone who's being very manipulative or someone who's light and cheat you view them as someone who is just not their authentic self you can see this as someone who is very egoistic also okay but i think you definitely view this person as someone who's turned their back towards you or someone who lives at a distance from you what's the three of wands here what do you view them as the three of wands you view them as waiting for you probably probably you view them as someone who's waiting for you to communicate with them okay why do they stay cold and detached with you this person views you as someone who they want to reconcile with they view you as someone you know who's their happiness they want to hang out with you they they see you as a very loving partner here but also they view you as someone who's in their element you know you you're like the queen you're the empress out here so they view you as someone who they have a lot of value for they see you in their self they see you as someone who has their own self worth you could be doing very well in your business work okay you could be working from home but they see you as someone who they want definitely long term with okay they see you as someone as their future wife or husband and they definitely want to reconcile with you what's you view them as someone probably what's the three of wands what's the three of wands some you view them as someone you know where things didn't get off with okay things didn't get off ground with them you wanted to marry them you wanted commitment from them okay but yeah you view this person as someone who's keeping you on hold okay you view them as someone who's indecisive right now and with the king of swords you could view them as someone who like i said very cold very detached someone who's not the best at expressing their emotions okay someone emotionally unavailable but someone who deals more with logic being more practical okay which can come off to be very harsh and very arrogant also okay for someone who's just egoistic their their ego runs the show is how you see them uh give me why is all this happening why is all this happening what led to this why is all this happening why is all this happening why is all this happening there has been a sudden shift in the person that you're dealing with okay there's been a sudden shift in this person there's been an abrupt ending but i'm not getting as an ending here there's already been an ending between you guys and someone getting this ending okay i feel there's someone here who wants to come back to you you could be dealing with a narcissistic person someone wants to come back towards you someone wants to rebuild the structure they do not want things to end between you guys this ending is stressing the shit out of someone i feel this person that you're dealing with they cannot accept it that you let the tower fall or they weren't expecting you to let them go or you probably are moving on because they definitely see you as someone who doesn't give a shit to them i mean you're doing you this entire tower moment is something that has already occurred and now this person wants to rebuild with you okay and they don't know how to make it happen with you that's what i'm getting this person does not know how to make it happen with you this person knows that they they've taken forever probably this person took forever to come towards you the right way in the correct approach and something was taking too long and you just felt it was a waste of time it was a huge disappointment and you walked away or you're planning to walk away and now this person wants to come back towards you okay and they're stressing the shit about how the hell are they going to rebuild this connection with you because they definitely see you as someone who's not interested yeah this person's obsessed and addicted with you sorry to tell okay yeah this person wants to come back this narcissist wants to come back narcissist wants to come back they want to come back okay whoever did this damage to you they want to come back for sure okay and they don't know how to i'm getting that all right let's see what action will you take towards this person capricorn what action will you take towards this person in the near future what action will you take capricorn two minute cards what action will you take Mm -hmm. okay. what action will this person take towards capricorn moving forward the two of cups wants to keep coming out 
why the two of cups twice. But it didn't make it. What action will this... Okay. This person is waiting for the right time to come towards you. They're dead serious about you, bro. They are. This person, finally, you got them in their element, okay? This person is serious about, serious about you. They want to get married to you. They see you as their wife or their husband. We have the emperor and the empress here. Guys, you guys get ready to get married. Wow. Damn, this is awesome. Because that's how they see you and that's how they're coming in. You know what I'm getting? You know what I'm getting? I'm getting that you taught this person a lesson. That either you come towards me, come in towards me correctly, or then just back off and leave me alone. You taught this person about how you should be treated. And that's exactly how they're coming towards you. They're just waiting for the right time. This person is waiting for the right time. That's for sure. Okay. But this person is 100%. They're wanting to come back towards you. That's the action they're going to take. Action-wise, yes. I don't see any action, action as such. But with the emperor here, it's a very badass energy. Okay. I love the emperor and the empress here. This is definitely commitment. This is definitely marriage. We have the four of wands here also. You, on the other hand here, you're looking at this thing as a very painful experience. Okay. I don't think you're taking action towards them. But what I see is that you're doing you. You've withdrawn your energies, I think, by the time this person comes back. Or I feel that even if this person comes back, okay, it's going to be very unexpected. I think you're still looking at this as a very painful experience. Okay, whatever pain and hurt has been caused, right? You feel that if you move towards them, it's going to be another heartbreak. I don't know why I'm getting that. You don't want to risk it with this person. What's the, th what's the queen of wands? Because look, you're moving towards heartbreak, you know? And that's what you feel. That's what's in your, uh, in your uh, actions. You feel that if you take any action towards this person, it's going to... It's like you're questioning yourself. How do we know that things are going to land up different from how they landed up before? How do you know that you're not going to have the same experience? That's what you're questioning yourself. That's what's happening in your actions. Whilst this person out here is waiting for the right time to approach you. What's the seven of pentacles? This person knows that things will work out, okay? But they're still giving it some time. What's the seven of pentacles here? They're waiting to take action towards you at the right time. What's the seven of pentacles? But in their intentions, do they want to marry you? What's the seven of pentacles here? That's the masculine feminine. What's the seven of pentacles? What are they waiting for? Yeah. They want to take a leap of faith and they will. They will. Okay. They're ready to put in the work. They're ready to put in the effort. Okay. And um, they're ready to put in their 120% in this relationship. They're just waiting for the right time. I think this person, they see you as their wish fulfillment. Okay. They see you as someone who makes them very, very happy. But the problem here is I feel that they are still... Um, They're waiting for the right time to come towards you. Yeah, that's all I can say. They're waiting for the right time. That's why the seven of pentacles here. Otherwise, there's nothing. This person wants to grow with you, okay? They want growth. They want expansion here. They're looking towards you, wanting to grow with you, okay? They've already made their choice, if that's what your conf confusion was, okay? They've already made their choice. And their choice is you. And now this person wants to act, take action, and implement on the choice that they've made. I think this person is on a long distance with you, okay? There is a long distance relationship, then this is definitely a reading for you. They're thinking about how to approach you, which is the right way to approach you. But one thing is for sure, you've taught this person that come back as an emperor or come, come to me as someone who wants something committed, something stable, something traditional, or then don't come back to me at all. And that's what they're doing. That's how they're coming back towards you. What's the best possible outcome for Capricorn for the spread? What's the best possible outcome for Capricorn for the spread? You're trying to move on from this person, to be very honest here. I feel you're trying to move on from this person. You're trying to release this person because that's what we keep getting. I told you that how you see yourself also in the beginning. What's the best possible outcome for Capricorn for this spread? No. Wow. <laughs> Two major arcanas for your outcome. The high priestess and the judgment here. You want to reconcile? Oh, this person definitely, this person I know, I mean, I know that they want to reconcile, right? I think this person is coming towards you with a reconciliation. There is going to be a final outcome. It's just about time. I think it's going to be any time now. 20 could be a significant date for you, okay? 
20 could be a significant number for you. I think it's just about the waiting time. Could be 7 days also is what I'm getting. I'm getting one week. I don't know why. I'm getting one week. Within one week, this person is going to come towards you and wanting to reconcile. It's going to be up to you, Caps, if you want to reconcile or not because we have the High Priestess here. What's the High Priestess? I think you're going to have to use your intuition. The, uh, it's like... Um, Trust your inner self. It's not going to be a straightforward answer with the outcome, but Tarot is going to tell you yes or no. Usually you can get a straightforward answer, you know. This time it's a little tricky. Trust your intuition. You're showing up as someone who doesn't want to take a risk because you feel what if things turn out the way they ended up before because you've been pretty hurt. This person's cut you through pretty deep. It's going to be up to you. The reconciliation is coming in. Yeah, there is going to be an opportunity to give this entire connection a second chance. Okay? And believe me, when the judgment is here, it comes in with a time limit. Okay? You take it or leave it. Take experience. Take... It's like... Um, how do I say this? Whatever lessons you've learned when you were in separation with this person. Whatever experiences you've had. Whatever lessons you've learned. Take everything into account and then make a decision. Is what I'd say. What's the high priestess? What's the high priestess? Because I feel even if the reconciliation comes in, you're going to keep things on hold. I don't see you as jumping in like, oh my God, I was waiting for you forever. No. Yeah, I told you, right? They're coming in. They're coming in pretty fast. You're the one who's going to be very conflicted in your head. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? If you trust your intuition, Capricorn, there are chances you will be able to make a more wiser decision and a quicker decision. But the problem here is you're very conflicted in your head, okay? Your head and heart are saying two very different things. It's like a struggle, right? There's like a conflict. There's like a tug of war in your head going on. But this person's coming in towards you. And they're coming in fast. Yeah. This is someone from your past or someone who you have bad memories of. Oh, bad memories with. Actually, bad memories. Why? Is because I see you as looking at the situation where something's left a bad taste in your mouth. But this is a soulmate. Okay. They're coming in with a reconciliation. It's going to be your call. I think you're going to be the one. It's going to be your call. They're coming in as the emperor here. So yeah, see, this is someone here who will come towards you when they want to come. Okay, because that's the emperor here. That's the one who calls the shots. Okay, but you with the high priestess here, they will come towards you. It's going to be your choice. Okay, I feel your, but I feel you won't make a decision. I don't know why. I'm getting that the reconciliation coming in is coming in, but you're going to have to trust your intuition about whether you want to move things ahead with this person or not. But it is coming in. But now this person feels you're getting away. And they don't want things to end between you guys. I feel this person wants to see an opportunity of wanting to build this entire thing with you again. Okay. Like a foundation that was built on a crooked, um, something that was built on a crooked foundation, something that was not built on something that, that was built on something very rocky. They want to have an opportunity to build things from scratch with a very strong foundation. It's going to be up to you caps whether you want to give them a, a chance or not. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.